everyone and welcome back to our channel. I am Kaylin, my husband is Robert, and this is our sweet baby girl Magnolia. And she was born early. She was born at 28 weeks and 5 days. So she spent 69 days in the NICU. And because of that, she has a lot of therapies. So if you want to know the different therapies she's in and what she's doing in all of them, then definitely stick around. <music> Therapies. She has early intervention, um, which is not really a therapy, it's more like a teaching where the, um, the early interventionist comes into your home or into the daycare, wherever your child is at, and kind of teaches you things to do with the child to help them develop. Um, so there's that, that she, so she sees the early interventionist, she sees speech therapy, and occupational therapy. <coughs> Yeah, you do. And soon you'll be seeing physical therapy. It's true. It's so true. Yeah, you're going to see physical therapy this week. You're going to have your evaluation. So with her early interventionist, I actually have a video, um, which I will have linked up here, or up here, whichever one, the eye in the sky for... Um, her first kind of like evaluation for her early interventionist just talking about where she's behind and things like that but since then magnolia has really really like improved she's been doing early intervention now for i think like three or four weeks and she has already done so many things that I thought were going to take forever. Um, one of the things, one of the first things that she started doing that she wasn't was reaching out for toys or anything when she was on her back. So she started doing that. That was one of her first things. And then rolling from her back to her belly. So she started doing that as well. Not all the time. Um, but she will do it occasionally because she doesn't love being on her belly. So She's not gonna roll under her belly if she doesn't want to. Um, and, yes, and that's the next thing is you've been talking a lot more. Yes, you have. You've been talking a lot more, yeah. And that will lead us into speech therapy. So her speech therapist came and did her evaluation and they said that she was on track for like her verbal communication um or verbal response so she communicates well she will talk and make noises she'll even say dada or mama um but she can make those noises which is really really good and um so yeah that's good but what she needs work on is her non-verbal communication so one of the things that we're working on with her is her name recognition. Magnolia. 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 Kind of. Yeah, you kind of looked at me that time. Yeah. Are we working on your name recognition? You're getting sleepy. <laughs> so we're working on her name recognition. Um, her looking at you when you say her name. The next thing is... Um, if she hears a sound that is behind her, she won't look for it. So like if she hears there she looks to the side, but it won't she won't look if it's behind her. Um so that's one thing, that's another thing that we're working on with speech. We haven't actually met with the speech therapist yet. They well they came, but they just did her evaluation. They haven't started working with her yet. So those are a few of the things that we will be working with her on, trying to get her up to speed with that. Um, and then occupational therapy, there are a few things that the occupational therapist will work on. Um, one is feeding herself. So she, um, she can't quite, she doesn't have like the coordination to take something from like in her hand and put it in her mouth she has a hard time like she can get it up 
but she doesn't know how to turn it and get it in. So we actually started using like the baby, the mum mums, those little like teething biscuits. And that's her frustration is she can hold it and she can get it up to her mouth, but it's flat against her mouth. She doesn't know to turn it and put it in. Same with her passy. Like she a lot of times can't grab it and put it in her mouth. She just started kind of doing it. Um, but still isn't like that great at it. So that's something that they're going to work on with her in occupational therapy is feeding herself and hopefully we'll be able to, um, have her do some baby led weaning. Cause that's what I would really like to do with her. Um, but with her being a preemie, she was ready to eat before she was ready, like physically, um, ready to start feeding herself. So that is something that occupational therapy will be working on and then physical therapy is going to be things like sitting up crawling um because she doesn't crawl and she doesn't really show like an interest in crawling we'll lay her on her belly and she'll kind of just like swim um and kick her feet but she doesn't she doesn't like really try to move a whole lot so that is one thing that the physical therapist will be working with her on is crawling, getting her into that position. Oh, you spit in? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, she has tried a few times to get into that position. Oh, yeah, get it out. So those are the types of things that we're going to be working on in therapy because she was born so early. She is just behind naturally. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about her therapy and what she's learning and um, anything like that, definitely leave them in the comments below. I will try to answer whatever I can. If it is not something that I can answer, I definitely can always ask the therapist, whichever one it pertains to. I can always ask them for the answers. So yeah, that's going to be it for us today, you guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already. And leave a happy, friendly comment below. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye, Magnolia.